Welcome back crafty friends. It's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for another round of the Oh So Inspired collaboration here on YouTube. If this is your first time to my channel or your first time hearing about this collaboration, let me tell you a little bit about it. Oh So Inspired is a collaboration that I host each month here on YouTube. What my team does is we take one inspiration piece, it could be a pin on Pinterest, a YouTube video, a picture from a blog or from Instagram, and we create our own project that was inspired by that piece. Now, it could be that we took the color combination from it. It could be that we liked the layout or the theme. Any way that it inspires each of the collaborators is okay. So the fun thing about this collaboration, or the neat thing, is that you're going to hop to each of the channels, and they are all listed below, so make sure you go and check them out once you're done here. You're going to go to each of those channels, and they will all be sharing something that probably looks completely different than what you just watched, but they are all fabulous projects. For this month, we are using a set of handmade tags as our inspiration. I did my best to track down the original creator of these because the Pinterest pin didn't lead to anywhere, but I believe that they are by Glitter Artsy Crafts. The pin is linked below, but if you go to Etsy, you can type in Glitter Artsy Crafts. You should be able to find her shop, and there's lots of beautiful inspiration there and um, great things to buy. I'm going to show you a picture of the tags that we took for inspiration. If you look at that middle one on the top, that is the tag that I'm going to be using for my inspiration today. And I am not going to just create tags, I want to create cards that have tags on them. And you're probably wondering, what is all this in front of you? These are actually cards that I made last weekend for my World Card Making Day series, and in this particular video, I created 12 cards using a 3x4 cut apart page from Echo Park paper. And then I also of course had to use some pattern paper from there as well. Well I had quite a few scraps left over after that. And I had a viewer challenge me on Friday to create a card with scraps. Now she was talking about very specific scraps. It was from the video that I shared on Friday. And I actually did meet that challenge, but I realized that my video stopped working, so I need to redo it. And I decided to go with the scraps from this project. But just quickly, here is the first card I made using that as inspiration. I will link the fall cards from last weekend below, as well as the video from Friday that I used scraps on the other card from, so I hope you'll go check those out. For today though, I pulled out all the scraps that were left from those 12 fall cards, and I am going to try to get six cards done. They'll all kind of look similar. I will be cutting my tags from the solid colored papers, and the little strips that go on the tag will be cut from the patterns. And I also have some strips here that may be all interspersed in there. I also pulled out some of the vellum scraps from that project as well as a few new sheets because I do want to use that on each one of them. So let's go ahead and get started and see if we can get these cards done. These pieces are already four by five and a quarter, so I will not be cutting these at all. These will be just put right on the front of my card bases. But I do have to cut the vellum and some of the pattern paper. I'm going to start by cutting my solid colored papers into the tags for the front of the cards. These are gonna end up being two and a half inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall. So for now, I'm gonna cut each of these into two pieces that are four and a quarter. And then I will cut them to two and a half inches wide. The next pieces I'm gonna cut are from the pattern paper strips 
and I won't really know until the end what size fishtails I need or how many I need of each. So I'm going to go through and just cut the 12 inch strips and then later I will chop them down and do the fishtail. So this first strip is going to be about, let's see, three eighths of an inch wide, it's just a little over a quarter. My next strip is going to be a half an inch wide. And then finally a strip that is three quarters inches wide. So I will do that to each of my pattern papers. Now I'm going to cut my vellum pieces and I'm going to cut these to three and a half inches wide by four and three quarters inches long. Okay, I have six of the vellum so I can stop cutting. Next up I'm going to cut my tag pieces into a tag shape. Before I started the video off camera, I went ahead and made a white template just so I can just snip off the corners as I need them and I will just do those by hand. Remember about five or six minutes ago when I said I had already created a card for this once and I realized the video had stopped? Well, it happened again. This time my battery died and I didn't realize it until I had made one complete card and I was gonna go take a break, come back and make the rest of the cards off camera and then come back and talk to you. Well, change of plans. Here is the first card that I got completed. What I'll do now is I'll kind of explain what else I did off camera and then I will show you how I put together one of these. After I cut the vellum, I paired up each of the tags with a background paper. I punched out a hole reinforcer with this American Crafts punch. And then I also punched another hole in the middle of there on the tag. And then I cut each of my pattern paper strips into small pieces and put the fish tail on the end of each one. I'll set this card to the side for now and I'll complete another one here on camera with you. Because I have already given you all of the dimensions and talked about each of the pieces, I won't voice over this card. If you have any questions on what I used or how I did things, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. There is one card finished on camera. So now what I am gonna do, and this time hopefully my camera will still be working, I'm gonna pause the video and I will be back with all six cards complete. I ended up with six new cards for my stash. I really enjoyed being able to use up some scraps that probably would have gotten you know, set to the side or maybe even recycled and never used. I like how the vellum behind the tag it mutes that pattern paper a little bit and helps the tag stick out. If you enjoyed this video today, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope you'll be inspired to hit the subscribe button below. 
If you're a regular viewer and subscriber, as always, thanks for stopping back by. Until the next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.